Hi and welcome to part 2 of the tutorial. In the last video, you've learned how to do the up and down movement and how to use Easy Ease. You've also learned how to integrate the loop expression. In this video, I will show you how to do the wave animation. There are two ways to do this. I will start with the fastest and lazy way. You don't have to do this, but I will duplicate my compositions because I am doing two versions of the wave. For the first version, we are working with wave warp effect and that's why I rename it to final comp wave warp. And for the second version, we will work with trim path. So I rename it to final comp trim paths. By the way, to rename anything in After Effects, you only need to press Enter. To draw a line, you need to go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. Now select the Pen tool and draw a line. It should have more or less the same length we have it here. Click and hold Shift to get a straight line. I set the stroke width to 40 pixels and disable the filling. The color of the stroke is not important. Next, go to the effects panel and search for wave warp. Drag and drop it to your shape layer. Now we can change a few settings to make our wave looks like our template. I set the wave height to 20 and the wave width to 100. Now if you play it, the animation is way too fast. So let's change the wave speed to 0.5. It's much better now. Now we need to hide or delete the wave clipping mask layer, because we don't need it anymore. Then move your shape layer right above the texture layer. Reveal the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon. Go to track mat and select alpha mat shape layer. This is basically the way how to do a clipping mask in After Effects. The wave layer turned invisible, you see it here and it exposed the layer beneath it, which is the texture layer. We are done with the lazy way. Of course, it's not that exciting, but what did you expect? It's the lazy way. I personally use wave warp a lot. That's the reason I wanted to show you this. You can spot this effect in almost every post I've made. Here are some examples. So I implemented in the flying circles, they are kind of wiggling around. You also see it in the hair of many characters. Here is an example where I use it in the map. I also sometimes use it as some sort of waves or smoke. Here are also some inspiration on how you could use the track mat. I use it a lot to reveal the stars, but here are some other examples. For this, I combine the animation of the position with track mat. So the movement of the Polaroid picture falling down is with the animation of the position and at the same time the track mat reveals the picture coming out of the camera. For this example I use everything we've learned so far. I use wave warp effect for the animation of the sand and to keep everything in the hourglass frame I use track mat. Um, you also see the sand falling down here, that was made with the animation of the position. That was some inspiration for you. Let's continue with the wave animation without the wave warp effect. I honestly also didn't know how to do this. I followed a tutorial on YouTube long time ago. I will link this video in the description box below in case you want to have a better explanation on how it works. I close this panel and switch to the final comb trim paths. Remember, I duplicate the composition, so that's why I have two compositions here. Simply double click on the composition to open the panel. And in this version, we are going to work with trim paths. Okay, we will also going to start with a new shape layer. Go to layer, new, shape layer. Now I'm going to draw again a line. But this time, the line needs to be as wide as our canvas size. I start here, hold shift to create a straight line and drag it to the other side. Make sure the field option is disabled and adjust the stroke width. For me, 40 pixels is just fine. Now expand the shape layer. I will also rename this layer to wave animation. 
by hitting on Enter. Click on the arrow next to Add, select Zigzag, expand the Zigzag option and change the size to your needs. I will go for 30 and 8 ridges per segment. And I also change it to Smooth. Now we have a nice wave, but there is no animation at the moment. Go to Add and select Trim Paths. Expand the option. We want to trim the end of the line. Click on the number and drag it to the left. Cut it here, it's directly in the middle of the last wave segment. Now go to 0 seconds in your timeline. We want to animate the offset. Click on the stopwatch here. Go to 2 seconds, add a keyframe and move it until our wave hits the end of the canvas. If you play it, you see that it starts moving from left to right. Now we want to change the position of the wave because we want the wave to stay in the middle instead of moving from left to right. Go to transform option, go to 0 seconds in your timeline and add a keyframe. Move the wave until it's more or less in the middle. Go to 2 seconds and add another keyframe and move the wave again to the middle. If you play it, the wave stays at the same spot. Let's add the loop expression to the offset and position. Hold option, click on the stopwatch and put the code snippet inside. I will also put the loop expression in the description box again, so you don't have to go back to the first part of the video. Now if you play it, you see that the animation is not quite smooth. We need to be more precise. Go to view and activate the grid. If we move between the keyframes by clicking on these two arrows, we see that the wave doesn't start and end at the same position. We need to fix that. Let's zoom in and have a better look at it. I'm at 0 seconds in my timeline and I try to hit the end of the wave with this line. Go to 2 seconds and do the same. Just play with the position until it's perfect. If you're happy with the settings, we can finally hide our grid as well as our guidance layer or just delete it because we don't need it anymore. Move the shape layer above the texture layer Reveal the texture layer beneath it. Go to track mat and choose alpha mat to do the clipping mask. And we are done with the whole animation. The last step is to export your animation. Go to file, export and go to media encoder queue. It will open a new software. You should also have it if you've downloaded After Effects. I use H.264. This codec is for MP4. If you don't have it set right now, you need to click on the blue link and change the format to H.264. We don't really have to change anything here, so hit OK. If you want to change the location and the name of the output file, click here. Change it and save. Press the play button and you're done with exporting. Congratulations, you've made it through. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or if something is unclear, you can write it down in the comment section. If you want to see more inspiration, you are also welcome to visit my Instagram profile. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!